So I was just literally thinking about, you know, something that obviously has to do with Lolly, but honestly just made me realize how big and weird the internet can be when it comes down to this subject, especially on a hypocritical level. Like, we obviously know Freerun, right? Definitely 100% other people, even though they don't necessarily want to admit it, do classify Freerun as a lolly, right? Even though, you know, people would like to say, you know, these type of characters are basically your short stacks or basically just the short women and, you know, all that type of stuff when it comes down to it. But through and through, she basically has the body of a lolly and is kind of in that way. So to be perfectly honest with you, she is. So we all basically is perfectly fine with that. No surprises there. And we all in agreement. Tell me why Freerun is perfectly fine with the majority getting classified as a lolly. But when we take this to other characters, that's when things get weird and wonky. Like Tatsumaki, for example, classic example. This is a lolly, but the rest of the internet is ready to fight to the death saying that this is a short stack, which no, she isn't. This is equally a lolly as well. I mean, the show itself wouldn't have said, yo, this is a lost child over there if that wasn't the case, right? That, that wouldn't be said in the actual script of the damn manga, the anime and all that type of stuff if that wasn't the point, you know? And again, her and Furin are basically on the same boat of maturity and all that sort of stuff. But at the same time, you know, people are ready to fight against that idea that Tatsumaki is a lolly, even though, you know, she basically is. Yes, she has Swiss thighs for the thick thighs, but at the end of the day, that's what she kind of classifies as. It just is what it is. And then we can also classify, you know, the other types of lolly characters that maybe is a bit more innocent than others, and then maybe not necessarily so much sure at the time and all that sort of stuff. And then, you know, chuck those and be ready to just, you know, burn everybody that wants to see some crazy content regarding those characters. But then again, you have a character that is, you know, also within that, that is equally accepted, right? Like, let's say for a quick example, Sasami from Tenchi Muyo, one of my favorite characters, honestly. And when it comes down to it though, yes, she is a bit more, you know, I would say innocence-wise, you know, a bit more pure, but at the very same time, not really, because a lot of the time she is like that because she doesn't really know about Earth like that and what they do. The same thing kind of goes down with, you know, basically anything that has to regard of, you know, where she is. But at the same time, she could take care of the house pretty damn well. She know how to clean, cook, and all that type of stuff without supervision and all that type of stuff. And is a bit intelligent herself. So why can't we classify this and just be fine with it? I don't know, right? That's just a bit weird to me. And hell, just to add a little bit more to the fire, in the exact same damn show, you got Washu, who is literally a lolly baba, which is the exact same thing as Freerin, the exact same thing as Hatsumaki, and Rebecca at the same time. Hell, I think she's older than Freerin, if I'm not mistaken. So when it comes down to it though, why do we have issues with lolly characters again? Why do people want to quickly and strangely and extremely weirdly want to try to relate this to real life stuff this it's always been weird to me again so weird how people just have picks and chooses of what is fine and who can actually get drawn content of whatever they're doing getting clapped but then you have someone like you know ilulu or someone like a sasami who is a bit more pure and innocent and just be like yeah we can't accept that shit. that that just that's just weird that's just weird. We can't accept that at all. But then you accept it over here and it's like, oh, we have an absolute problem. It's kind of like how people will be flipping hard as hell, tripping about, you know, maybe like Eerie or something like that. But then the moment they see Pamper and Dragon Ball GT, everybody busts loads. And it's like, it's the same shit though. How? This is, this is, this will be no different than having Nanako being drawn. Like what, how is, how are you, how, how is one acceptable and one is not? So at the end of the day, to be just capping all this off, I just wanted to complain about that because I just happen to find it so annoying and so 
weird. Like, if you accept one part of it, you basically accept everything. I don't care how old that character is, they look basically the way you hate the characters to look. So to be perfectly honest with you, if you're fine with Free Ren, and especially if you like her content, just clapping cheeks or putting into implied situations, then there's probably a good chance you most likely or should be fine with other characters in that very same position of that same body type as well. So that's essentially what I wanted to say for this one. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, make sure you're Also follow me on socials, uh, Twitter and Blue Sky. And also help me out on Cash App and Ko-Fi if you'd like to donate. And until then, it's Boy J signing off. Have a blessed day.